Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. Call the police. No, I ain't calling no popo. Did he bounce? <laughs> Say word. Word. Sway, I'm telling you, he even balled the dude's gun up like some old homework. <laughs> Yo. I don't even know how that scene in the first season of Luke Cage, episode 12. <laughs> <laughs> Did not get nominated for some type of award or something. It was too real. It was too real. It was, was it too real? It was too real. You guys got too real. It was it's, too real. It's interesting that Luke Cage was such a big success hmm. for Netflix. Right. In, in each episode, it, it just it just got more and more viewership. And then when episode 12 came, I heard it broke viewership records. I, 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 <laughs> he rewrote history on that one, right? He re mm -hmm. rewrote history because, and we have our co-star with us here, Heather. We do. Who, who co-starred in Luke Cage with <laughs> us. Listen, thank you for letting me be a part of that, guys. Now, now, not a problem, <laughs> thank man. Thank you. Give it up for Mike Coulter, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, a.k.a. Luke Cage himself. I loved it. I loved it. I mean, we almost didn't have a second season because you guys were busy. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and we had to think about a rewrite. We were like, well, we right. thought we were going to have the whole thing with you guys. And you guys just said, no, we're going to do this radio thing. Yeah. So we were sitting there on our hands for like about, you know, a couple months. Yeah. And, you know, luckily we came up with another idea. But you left us hanging for a minute there, guys. <laughs> sorry, we were going to yeah. build a whole second season around that. And you guys yeah. just sort of just got busy. Heather got busy. And her YouTube followers got up. Uh -huh. You know, she's doing YouTube. It's a one and done kind of thing. Yeah, like bridesmaids. You know, you, you, know, you know what? We did that. Let's not do it again. Yeah, man. It. Chayo called me. I just didn't pick up the phone. He kept saying, dude, did he change his number? And I'm like, dude, I'm texting him too. He's not responding. He's like, who that? You know, new number, who that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Well, phone, well, what about phone. the rest of us? We, we weren't in it. Oh. Uh, oh. Hmm. Well, honestly, I, I was going to uh, talk wow. to Marvel so we could reshoot season two yeah. because we weren't in it either. Uh, <laughs> is it done, season two? No, man. We're just in the middle of it, man. Don't Never say never. We might, you know. It, listen, first of all, you can't tell viewers that you're not going to be in it because, first of all, you might be in it. We're not finished shooting yet. That's number one. Oh, shit, number up. two, people might want to tune in for you guys. Now you really, come on. Damn. Well, maybe you might want to put us in it. Uh, hey, <laughs> listen, we just started. We got a whole nother half to shoot. Okay. So. Well, we, Keep, we, make we, sure your phone is on. Okay. Ringers well, up. Well, I, I live in Harlem in case you need an extra or something. Hey, listen, what street you're on? We shoot all the time. 125th and Madison. Oh, easy. Easy. Done. That's okay. We're always in, you know, I, I got a hoodie and everything if you need an extra. Well, one. no, no. We're putting you in hoodies. Might confuse the two of us. Okay, sure. Oh, my gosh. That's DB, by the way, Mike. <laughs> the stranger you're having a conversation <laughs> with right now. Uh, man. Okay, so just back to season two. So uh, <laughs> we got 32 million subscribers here, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh we could direct them all to watch that next season. I'm hey, just like, hey, man. Listen, I'm just telling you right now, if you like first season, you're going to love the second one. Because no. I'm telling you right now, we're doing it big. We're doing it big. Wow. Congratulations, Congrats. though, man. It, yeah. it, it was, it was um, really well done. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Really, you did an excellent job, and you were cool on the set when we met, and you've been cool ever since. Mm -hmm. And even now, man, you're part of a big box office smash. Your star is rising so hard right now. Girls Trip, congratulations, Thanks, man. Girls Trip. I was I was just a guest on that show, man. Those girls killed it. I was just like, let me get down with these ladies because they are really, really doing it. And Will Packer, he's just you know hit maker. Uh, and uh, Malcolm Lee, it's just such a great cat, you know. And then the writers, I was like, the you writers, know, oh, I, I love Blackish. So as soon as I heard that Kenya was a part, I was like, ah, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it. You know, so I was happy to that's be a part of it. Up, yeah, man. that's dope. Jada yeah. stopped by here. Regina stopped by right before the film came out, and they were talking about the script and saying immediately they wanted to be down with, mm. with Girls Trip and do this thing. And I noticed I was in the movie theater with a bunch of women, obviously, mm -hmm. and when you walked on the screen, everybody screaming, <laughs> Luke Cage, Luke Cage, loving your chocolateisms <laughs> and all of that. And then as your role went on, <laughs> chocolateisms. Well, it's just, we, it was noises when he, they, they him and the other. Got, yeah, and and, I can attest to that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it was noises. <laughs> but then as the character went on, we heard the cursing and oh, the hissing, and that's that their mother... problem. <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, they got they got some skeletons. I was like, the bones, bones start to come up. You right. know, right? So going back to <laughs> the but, but you got to explain the scenario. Right. Well, I know. It, it, it went from this image of good guy mm -hmm. to not so good guy. W was that? Well, what what you attracted do? you to the script? Well, in case people didn't see yeah, the movie, it's kind Sway. Of a... Well, go see the movie. Yeah. Well, no, no, it's, it's worth going alert. to see. It's a spoiler. It's a spoiler alert? Yeah. yeah. You're a oh. guy. Guys oh. are not up on it unless they're in it. Well, no, you know what it is? It's like, you know, I think it's a, it's a, it's, 
people say it's a chick flick or whatever, right? But mm-hmm. guys follow the ladies. You know, it's a it's a great first date movie. It's a mm-hmm. great if you, if you want to make a lady happy. Ladies like to laugh. You want to make them feel warm and fuzzy all yeah. the time. Take them to see Girls Trip. It, take one for the team. Like I know you'd rather be doing something else, but take one for the team. For the team, yeah. but that that's that's true. But is that the <laughs> dynamic of the character and the switch up? Is that what attracted you to the script? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I was like, you know, as soon as you do a hero or you do anything really good for a long time, you know, because I was, you know, I did villains before, and I'm, you know like villains and I was like oh it's hero yeah I would love to do that and I'm like okay let's get something he's not a villain um, in this movie but he if, if there's a villain he's the villain yeah. I like to say he's a heel you know he's one of those guys that it's a lesson on what not to do but I think people because you know we all you know nobody needs to explain what happens in life but we all know people like this and yeah. we have come across yeah. this before and we all have issues and so when it happens my job is to try to make him as relatable as possible whether mm. that actually works or not I'm not sure but it, what it does is make people you know feel like oh this is what i don't want to happen to me and stuff and so the struggle is real for this character and hopefully <laughs> you know people will respond to it um in a negative or not so negative mm. way no know? great job great, yeah great job. absolutely speak more about because we started this before the mics um went on about people being attracted to villains more than heroes the science behind yeah, that it's well the, i was you know in this reading this book i'm not finished with it yet called confidence game uh and it's like sociopaths and psychopaths and we all deal with these people in our lives but we don't realize that that's what they are and they're sort of playing on our weaknesses and so what happens in life we all believe there's certain things certain truisms and we want them to be true so when these people come in these sociopaths or you know for the worst case psychopaths they come in and they're they're con men they come in and they say what you already want to hear you assume this right because you're expecting it it could be your mm-hmm. lover it mm-hmm. could be the guy who's trying to sell you a car it could be the guy that's trying to sell you some real estate anything mm-hmm. you are hoping that you're looking for someone to say these words and they say those words and they say it with a straight face and so you're going you're relax and you start to let them take advantage of you so the worst case scenario is these people don't have any feelings or emotions so that's with, a sociopath the, 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 oh, so, the, the sociopath <laughs> is aware of, of what's going on he uh-huh. can see that you're hurt but it doesn't you know he's okay. able to deal with mm-hmm. it psychopaths don't even register it okay they, they you know you're talking about your your your, your i think your your, your uh charles M- mansons, mansons and people like people. that it's a, it's a it's a small number but they don't even register it. so they can see anything happen in front of them and it's just like there's you no know, there's you put them on a on a thing and it probably doesn't even register them to them no, physically they've done um, so sociopaths deal with it differently you know they're probably more sociopaths and psychopaths according to this book mm. but but either one of them you want to stay away from it but we don't know who those people are it's like it's like a it's like a mutant so when you see one it's like you know you don't know you don't even so, know so what category are you fit in mm. hey wait a minute no i'm just observing i don't know <laughs> nothing about that <laughs> okay. All right, i don't know nothing about that helps, okay like. we got james on the line from vancouver say hey, hello james. to mike coulter james Wow, well, Luke Cage, what's going on, man? What up, man? Hey, man, I just got to say, I, lo- I love the uh, season one. I can't wait to get up on season two. Yeah. But the strangest thing, man, I'm watching uh, TV late at night, and my wife, she never watches the TV with me. But I'm looking over at her, and she's got one eye open, and she's she's peeping Luke Cage. And I'm like, oh, oh what's going on, man? What, why, are you, why are you watching Luke so hard? And, uh, <laughs> yo, man, I, I, I think you might have stole it. Bit, man. Listen, man, it, uh, I'm sure your wife's a lovely lady. If you want to keep her happy, man, let her watch Luke Cage, man. It's yeah. all good. It's yeah. all good. That's all, as long as they're happy, man. Hey, hey James, well, she like touching herself under the cover? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the cover's moving now. We got a problem. Okay. Uh, all right, James, we got Freeway on the line from Charlotte. What up, Freeway? Hey, Freeway! What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, baby? Yo, Mike. Yo, this is Stan Ike from uh, from South Carolina. Really, oh. Freeway is just my radio name. Uh, my my, my, my road name out here on the road. You know, I'm riding this road, uh, Mike. <laughs> you know what time it is. What's up? I'm a, what's up, man? Big fan. Been following you ever since uh, uh, Million Dollar Baby. I'm proud oh. of you, brother. You know, I came from the same town you came from. Wow, all so right. Every time I see you, every time I see you on, the, on, on the television or anything, man, I'll be like, yo, that's my own. Yeah, it's one of, right yeah, it's one of your own, right? It's one of your own, yeah, right? one of my own. All right. So that's a big thing. I, hey, I drove up out of there just like you did from St. Matthews, right? Just keep driving. <laughs> Hit the interstate. Keep driving, man. Wow. <laughs> keep driving. <laughs> <laughs> going north, young man. Yeah, man going north. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We're going to come back. Uh, this new mi- mini series is like, man, this is huge. DB lost sleep over this. I've been trying to figure out what's the inside to this one. But we got them right here. We're talking about the Defenders. We're going to come back and talk about that next. 888-742-3345. You are in for a treat. One of the best. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45. Kill <laughs>